So when I found out I was pregnant, I was extremely excited and at the same time, extremely anxious and nervous because this was my first pregnancy. You don't know much, like everything that you learn is like, oh, let me like Google that or let me search that online. In my practice, I do probably about 25 to 30 deliveries per month. Their biggest concern when they ask me and when they come in is, what should I be eating or what shouldn't I be eating? Most of my patients, if not all of them these days, are really into eating well and what can they do to be healthy. Our focus in this country really is on what foods to avoid. So they talk about avoiding foods that are high in mercury, they talk about foods that have saturated fats, they talk about foods that are high in sugars. So we're spending a lot of time telling our patients not to eat this, not to eat that, not to eat the other thing, and suddenly the patient's saying, well, what can I eat? So towards the second and third trimester of my pregnancy, they were gonna check my protein levels. I eat healthy, I exercise, I work out, I play tennis. After I got my blood results back, um, my protein level was not where it needed to be. So here we are in South County where food is not restricted. Patients are eating overall enough food to keep their weight up so no one's underweight. So you think they're getting plenty of nutrition, if not too much nutrition. I find that it's very difficult for these patients to get adequate protein while they're pregnant, either because the taste, difficulty in food preparation. A lot of them are very busy. They have jobs, they're busy with childcare. So for a lot of these moms, even though they had adequate financial resources to get the proteins, they were not taking in an adequate amount. And just like iron levels that are reduced during pregnancy, and we always talk about supplementing iron with pregnancy, I felt, why don't we talk about supplementing protein to bring the protein levels back up again? And this product, in fact, showed that. It showed improvement in the protein levels in our patients. Protein during pregnancy is very important. Uh, mom needs the added nutrition both for herself and her baby. So overall, between the pregnancy time and the postpartum time, those first 500 days are most critical for a newborn, for a fetus and giving Proteva during that time frame will maximize the potential for that baby's outcome and for the mom as well. My protein level was not where it needed to be and by taking Proteva, I was able to get my protein level up to where Dr. Braginski said was a great range. Proteva pregnancy was formulated specifically for moms before they deliver. So it has the right balance of vitamins and the right balance of protein that will provide their baby and the mother with adequate protein for development. That will be taken before delivery then once the baby delivers, we switch to Proteva New Mom, which allows a little shift in the formulation to again, give the greatest benefit now to the mother during her recovery, and if she's breastfeeding, to help with the breastfeeding process. With Proteva, when I first heard about it, I felt that it was very important before I was to embark on giving this to my patients that we actually had a study. And having a, a study that was well done, again, having our IRB approval, having oversight, and showing clinical improvement to me was very important. In fact, that's what it did. It showed improvement in protein levels, which we know during pregnancy are reduced. It was kind of fortuitous that I happened to be pregnant at the time that the study was going out and, you know, had a little bit more information, I think, than the average person would about, you know, how the product is made, you know, what goes into it, the quality of the ingredients, the fact that it's, you know, you know, really being rigorously tested so that it makes sure that it's safe for pregnant women and what better way to try and see if there's an improvement than taking it myself. It's really hard to study anything in pregnancy. You know, it's hard to get people who are pregnant to willingly put something into their body, you know, and hopefully make an outcome. I'm recommending something to them that I've used myself, both as a pregnant person and then as a breastfeeding mom, and I use it myself. You know, they don't have to read a study. I'm not gonna use anything for me that I wouldn't recommend. At the beginning of our study, I was surprised to find out that between 50 to 85% of my well-nourished patients were actually below normal or in the low normal range for protein. With the supplementation, we're able to achieve 100% improvement across the board in all patients, no matter what their beginning nutrition status was. So every morning after I woke up, I would have some breakfast, and after my breakfast, I would make my shake. So my favorite combination with the shake was I loved the chocolate shake, and I would put a frozen banana in with it and a couple scoops of peanut butter and some coconut milk and blends it all together and it was amazing. Especially for a busy mom on the go, you know, or someone who's gonna be a busy mom on the go. This is a natural way that when you don't feel like eating a lot, it's got the protein in there, you're gonna feel full and like you have energy to get through your day and it's gonna help you feel better longer. And for a lot of patients that, you know, we kind of jointly agree that that would be something good to try, they've been so happy with taking their shake. A lot of the other products on the market have a lot of things that are thrown in there. 
the increase of flavor, the ability to remain on the shelf for six months, eight months, two years. Proteva is just the product with the vitamins that you need to perform the task, what the protein is there for. I like the fact that, again, it's all natural, and no preservative is very important. Having a product that is uh, composed of just the essential nutrients, having a product that works with what I prescribe or what they're already taking is fantastic. About a week after I delivered, I went to a baby shower with a close girlfriend, and while there, they were like, how are you out of the house right now? And I was like, I feel great. Within days, I was sweeping the floors, I was cleaning my house, I was out and about at the grocery store. I wanted to be back on the tennis court, like, right away. I had to ask my doctor permission to go back, I think at five weeks post-delivery, even though you're supposed to wait six, and based off checking my blood and checking everything and seeing that I was healthy, he was willing to let me get back um, playing and being on the court quicker than normal. I had such a great experience keeping Protiva, and it was the best choice for Monroe and I. And I want every single woman that I come across to have the same experience that I did.